with a loud noise, large shout of praise to welcome to the altar our sister, Sister Phyllis, to come and just give us the word in the name of Jesus. Come on, rise up to your feet and celebrate Jesus. talk to God in your own language. Begin to worship him. Father, we worship you. Mantala brosha takala bronde la gadosha. Father, we worship you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We worship you because you are worthy of our praise. Mantala le bronde la gadosha le baradon salamante. Ratonda la de shelete de le bronda la douche. I can't tell a broncha la manda la bro telebar. Etenda chate ka bronte. Raponda la douche te ke mande. Eranda dosha la manta. Itande le broncha la te. We worship you. We give you praise. We give you honor, O oh God. For there is no God that deserves the praise. There is no God that deserves the worship like you. We are only made of clay and we have come here to worship you. Mante shala bronda, ikanta la broshi ketele manda. We worship you. We give you praise. We give you honor, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for your presence in this place. We pray the Lord Almighty, even as we hear your word, speak it or go through this mouth of clay with clarity in the name of Jesus. Masute, Nipanda, Ladosha, we worship you. We give you praise. We worship you. How great is our God. See me how great is our God and we sing how great how great is our God how great how great is our God
seats. I would like to thank our pastor. Amen. I've always said it's an honor to stand before great people. Amen. And it's hard to minister before great people. Amen. Hallelujah. So I would like to thank mom and dad for trusting me to share the way this evening. Hallelujah. I would also like to thank the leadership of the church for just being there for us in the church as well. Amen. You might be seated in the presence of God. Hallelujah. We are in a season of revival. Amen. We are in a season of revival. And when revival is taking place, Certain things in your life needs to be activated. Hallelujah. Your blessings need to be activated. And your blessings, they need to speak. Hallelujah. You are a child of God and the child of God needs to be blessed. It is the will of God to see you blessed in every endeavor of your life. Amen. In everything that you do, God has a heart of blessing you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, when dad was standing here, he, he almost touched my same one. I was like, don't go far, don't go far. Amen. He talked about hope being deferred makes the heart sick. Hallelujah. In simpler ways, it means there are certain things that we believe God for, but they have not taken place, and it makes our hearts sick. Hallelujah. And it is along this journey that a lot of us are giving up. We are giving up on God because our hopes have not yet been met. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about faith. Faith is a substance of of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. Amen. But how do you believe on a God when things that you've hoped for are not happening in your life? Amen. Therefore, hope that is deferred makes one what? Sick. Hallelujah. Let's go to uh, First Kings chapter 19 and verse 1. To 12. Amen. I know you've heard of this uh, scripture several times. A lot of people have preached over it many times. Amen. First Kings chapter 19 and verse 1. I'll read. Verse 1 says, King Ahab told his wife Jezebel everything that Elijah had done. And how he had put all the prophets of Baal to death. Verse 2, he sent his message to Elijah. By, may the, the gods strike me dead if by, uh, by this time tomorrow I do not do anything with you. Verse 3, Elijah was afraid and he fled for his life. He took his servants and went to Beersheba in Judea. Leaving the servants there, Elijah walked a whole day in the wilderness. He stopped and, sit, and sat in the shade of a tree and yelled and wished that he could die. He said, it is too much, O Lord, he prayed. Take away my life and make me die in this place. Verse 5, he lay down in a tree and fell asleep. Suddenly an angel touched him and said, wake up and eat. He looked around and saw a loaf of bread and a jar of water near his head. He ate and drank and lay down. The Lord's angel turned and woke him up again a second time saying, get up and eat for the journey that you have is too much for you. Verse 8, Elijah woke up, ate got strength and walked for 40 days in Sinai, the holy mountain. Verse 9, he went to the cave and spent a night there. Suddenly the Lord spoke to him, Elijah, what are you doing here? Verse 10, he answered, 
Lord God Almighty, have I not saved you alone? But the people of Israel have broken their covenants with me, with you, and torn down their altars and killed all the prophets. I am the only one left, and they are trying to kill me too. Verse 11. Go out and stand before me on top of the mountain, the Lord said to him. Then the Lord passed, when the, and the Lord passed by and sent a furious wind that split the hills and shattered the rocks. But the Lord was not in the wind. The wind stopped blowing and there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. Verse 12. And the earthquake was, and the, and the Lord was not in the earthquake. Verse 12. After the earthquake was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And the fire was a soft whisper of the voice of God. Amen. In the season of revival, I want to talk about a God who speaks. Amen. A God who speaks. God has never stopped speaking. He continues to speak. Amen. He has not stopped speaking. He continues to speak. He speaks in different forms. He speaks using people. He speaks through your dreams. He speaks in many ways. But it is up to us how we get to hear his voice. Amen. The Bible talks of a man called Elijah. Elijah was a prophet of God. And there was a time when he killed all the prophets of who? Of Baal. And there was a certain lady. I know you know the story of Jezebel. Jezebel was called a prophetess in those days. Amen. And she was a prophetess, not a prophetess of God. She was a prophetess of Satan. Amen. In the time when Elijah killed all the prophets of Baal, a, a news was, was taken to, to Jezebel. She was told to say, have you heard what Elijah has done? He has killed all the prophets of Baal. And, the, and, and Jezebel sent forth a word to Elijah that by this time tomorrow, if God does not strike me dead, I'll kill you. Amen. But Elijah was so afraid that he ran in the chaos for his life. Amen. When we talk about Elijah, we talk of a man that knew God, that had a relationship with God, that prayed and things happened. Amen. He was a man that was in sync with God. Hallelujah. But a time came when he feared for his own life. Amen. There are times even when you have prayed, even when you know your God, things do not make sense. Hallelujah. There are times even when you know God, but things around you don't make sense. That doesn't mean that God doesn't speak. That doesn't mean that God is silent. No, you need to trust God with every process that comes along your way. Hallelujah. We are living in a society that is sick. Amen. We are living in a time where people are giving up on God. Why? Because they have prayed, they have fasted, and there's nothing to show forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are living in a generation... People are just dragging themselves to church. <laughs> they are dragging themselves to church. They have lost hope on the promises of God. Amen. And I came to remind you that whatever God spoke over your life, it shall surely come to pass. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how long it will take, but whatever God spoke over your life, it shall surely come to pass. Hallelujah. Certain things that we need in, in, in our lives, they take long. Why? Because God wants us to go through a certain process. You want marriage, but can you, can you, can you, 
can you work over that marriage? Do you have the capacity to maintain marriage? You want a car. Do you have the capacity to maintain a car? That's why we say delay is not now. When God is quiet on you, that does not mean he's not going to answer you. He's just training you to have the capacity around you that when that blessing comes, you have it and you can contain it. Hallelujah. Do you have the capacity to maintain the car that you are crying for? Receive a car, I receive a car. But do you have the money to take it to the garage for maintenance? Do you have the capacity to look after the car you are crying for? That's why God takes you through that process. It, it is a process that is not easy. But you need to trust God through the process. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You talk of Elijah. Elijah was a man of prayer. But a time came when things didn't make sense. He lied down on a sycamore tree and he said, I want to die. I want to give up on this God. Nothing is making sense. We are living in a time where people are dismissing and they are making mockery of your God. But you do not need to give up. Hallelujah. You trust God with every process that is going to take you through. Do you have the capacity to maintain the blessing that you are crying for? Do you have the ability to maintain whatever you want God to do in your life? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We serve a God that speaks. And I tell you, he has spoken several times. But at times when we look at our lives, we say, did I hear him rightly? Did I hear what he said? Amen. When you close your eyes, you look at the future, you see yourself with a great and bright future. But your reality today doesn't make sense. Hallelujah. Let us learn to trust God with a process. Hallelujah. Hebrews, the book of Hebrews says, He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Meaning when you seek God, there is a reward that comes after that. But how and when that reward is going to come, it is up to God. He is a God that knows when he wants to bless you. He is a God that knows how to bless you. Whatever God does is not a mistake. If you are going through hell, it is not a mistake. It is just a process taking you to your destination. Hallelujah. He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. How many of you can tell me that I've, I've seeked God and I've seeked God and there's nothing that is showing forth? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is what? He is a speaking God. And whatever he speaks comes to pass. Hallelujah. Let's go to Proverbs 13. Proverbs, anyone on Proverbs? 
Proverbs 13 verse 12 can read. Proverbs 13. Okay, I'll read. Proverbs 13 and verse 12. The Bible says, when hope is crushed, the heart is sick. Amen. When hope is what? Is crushed, the heart is sick. Amen. I know you are believing God for so many things and there's nothing that is showing forth. I know you are, you are going through a lot of of troubles and your heart is weary but I want you to trust on the promises of God hallelujah I want you to believe on what God spoke to you in your dreams I want you to believe on what God spoke through the men of God over your lives amen I want you to hold on to that hope that you have in God why one day it will come to pass Amen. And we are in a season of revival and it is time that those things they begin to activate in your life. Hallelujah. So hope that is crushed, it makes one's heart what? Sick. But in as much as we are sick in our hearts because of things that we do not see, God still promises us to say, I know the thoughts I have towards you. And these are the thoughts of peace. And these are the thoughts of love to give you an expected end. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, before I formed you in your mother's home, I knew you. I ordained you as a prophet. Meaning, Every program that you go through this in life, God already knows it. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever you go through today, whatever you are faced today, God knows it already. The Bible says he orders the steps of a righteous man. And as long as you are diligently before God, he will order you. It is a step that each one of us has to take. It is a process that each one of us has to take. But we need to trust God with every step that we take. It might not feel good. It might not make sense to us, but we need to trust him. Why? Because he says he orders every step that I make. If I make a point to point A, it means it is God who has made me walk that step. I need to trust him. Hallelujah. It might not make sense. It might not make sense to you, but believe in him. He's going to see you through everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, no eye has seen and no ear has heard. Neither has it entered the hearts of men the things that God has prepared for you. No eye has seen and no ear has heard. Neither has it entered the hearts of men the things that God has prepared for you. The Bible says they are things that are freely given to you. Those are the things that you as a Christian, you don't need to ask God. You just get them. Why? Because they are freely given to you. Hallelujah. Let them mock you and let them mock your faith. But no eye has seen and no ear has heard. Neither has it entered the hearts of men the things that God has prepared for me. Hallelujah. I might not understand myself. I might not understand the process now. But I trust my God that he will see me through. Hallelujah. Don't judge me because you do not know me. Don't judge a book by its cover because you do not know what is inside. 
we have different destination. Whatever you go through doesn't mean I have to go through it. Why? Because my story is different from your story. But our destination is where God wants us to be. If you are driving a car, thank God for your car. If you are married, thank God for your marriage. But I'm waiting on God and I'm waiting on Him because He's the one that leads me. The Bible says the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in greener pastures, meaning He's the one that leads me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. He who heals your diseases, He who forgives your sin. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Thank God for everything that you have, my brother. But I am waiting on a God who is going to bless me when he feels like blessing me. I need to have the capacity. When God gives me money, I need to have a capacity to contain the money. Some of you giving you a 1,000, you go out. Some of you giving you a limousine, you go out. But that doesn't mean God doesn't want you to bless you with a limousine. He's looking to, does he have the capacity to contain a limousine? Does he have the ability to contain a limousine? Certain things when they're given to us first, they kill us. That's why there is a delay. A delay is there to take you with every step and make you grow. I remember I told a friend to say certain issues. Nina Peter Bokdala. Nina Kula. Bring me other things. Not this one. Meaning I learned how to contain certain things. When you shout at me, I'll just look at you. This is not my level. I've already passed this. I need new things. Hallelujah. But with every blessing comes a demon. <laughs> Let's not just talk about blessings. Uh -uh. Let's talk about things that come when you are blessed. You'll be happy. You'll be excited. But with every level that you go through, certain things begin to fight you. Amen. With every blessing comes a demon to fight you. That's why God needs you to have the capacity to contain certain things. Hallelujah. We talk of Matthew. Matthew says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things, what you want, all these things shall be added unto you. The problem is that we equate blessings with money. Hey, money is one of those blessings, but don't just look at a blessing and equate it with money. Amen. Don't equate blessings with money. Money is one of those blessings. But when we talk about blessings, we just think, oh, a 5,000, a 20,000. Now, the Bible says, the blessings of God, they maketh one rich, and they add no sorrow to it. Money or no money, I'm blessed. <laughs> have you gone places that see Simone Kandalama and Dalama? But I don't have. Don't equate money with uh, bl blessings with money. There is much more 
to blessings than money alone. When we talk about prosperity, think as broad as you can. Think of Japan. Think of the states. Think of your generations to come. Amen. Long life is a blessing. The fact that you woke up this morning, it is a blessing. The fact that you are not dead, it is a blessing. No, the good part about being a Christian, I'll tell you, I, no matter how much I might backslide, I, ba I backslide not drinking. I might backslide in prayer. I might backslide in, in, in not just reading the word. But something about God, in as much you backslide from attending church, something about God pushes you to say, you've stayed, it's enough, it's time to go back. Hallelujah. When Elijah sat in the caves, an earthquake passed, and he thought God was in the earthquake, but God was not in the earthquake. Fire passed, but God was not in the fire. God was in an audible voice. I don't care whatever happens, but I'm, 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 I'm more intrigued with God spoke. All this while, God was quiet. Can we compare ourselves with Elijah? Elijah was a man of prayer. But he felt like giving up on God. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what you want God to do for you. But God is a speaking God. He will speak to you through your dreams. You just need to wait on God. Wait on him patiently. Because that which he promised, he shall surely bring it to pass. Amen. And we are in a season of revival and I came to announce to you. I came to, to let you know to say whatever God spoke, it is coming to pass. I don't know what God told you. Whether he spoke through his servants, whether he spoke to you directly, but whatever he told you, it is coming to pass. The question is, do you have that capacity to contain the same blessing that you've been crying for? Amen. Abraham was told by God that I'm going to make you a father of nation. It didn't take, it didn't take in a split of a second. It took years and years and years and as we read the bible we see what god promised unfolding in abraham's life we talk of joseph joseph had a dream meaning god told him something in the dream but there was a process to him becoming the minister at times at times how I wish sometimes God doesn't show us. <laughs> hmm? How I wish sometimes God doesn't show us to say, you'll be the, 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 the president. Because if he shows me now, I'll think it's tomorrow. But it is a process. And the process is never easy. Amen. We are living in a, in a generation where practical people have lost faith in your God. Because when they look at you, you have nothing to show forth. But there was a man who staggered not in the promises of God. 
let us not stagger in what God has promised us. Hallelujah. Let us continue waiting and believing on God. Hallelujah. Trusting God in the process that whatever he speaks, he shall bring it to accomplishment. Shall we stand in the presence of God? Delay is not denial. They might mock your faith, but they can never mock what God said over your life. Hallelujah. 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 It is the will of God to see you blessed. It is the want of God for you to be blessed. Hey, God wants to see you driving in those expensive cars. God wants you to own shops. He wants you, he wants a lot of things for you. But there is a condition to say, seek here, face the kingdom of God. Meaning there is a seeking, there is a seeking, there is a seeking. It is a process. You don't just seek God and sit. You continue seeking him. You continue knocking. You continue asking. Until that which you believe God on, it will come to pass. And as we are in the month of revival, whatever has been dead in your life has to come back to life. Your relationship with God has to come back to life. Some of you used to pray, but you no longer pray. Let's build the relationship that we had with God if we want to be blessed. Hallelujah. I said we need to trust what? God with a process. He's a God that knows when to bless you, how to bless you, and the day he's going to bless you. Let's hold on to this faith that we have in God. And many have given up on this journey. Others are saying, I'd rather be a Muslim. <laughs> I know of a few. Amen. I know of a few that have said, ah, I think religion and Christianity doesn't make sense. Let me try these other people. Amen. But one thing that God wants is that you have a relationship with him. A proper relationship with him. Now the problem with us, I, we do not understand the Bible. We do not understand what God promises us or what God has promised. Just receive, 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 receive. Receive what? Be a Christian that is content with the word. When we talk of blessings, you understand what blessings are. I've told you, don't equate blessings with money. Amen. I want us to, to pray. To say, God, whatever you spoke in my life, let it come to pass. Thank God for those that went ahead of me. Thank God for those that have been blessed now. But I know my time is now. Amen. It might not make sense. It might not mean a lot. But I fail to say my set time is now. Hallelujah. Position me in a place where I do not miss that which you have for me. Amen. And when God wants to bless you, it doesn't matter the altars that people talk about. 
the order from your mother's side, your order from your father's side, when God wants to bless you, he will bless you. Hallelujah. I want us to pray. Just close your eyes, lift up your hands. Tell God to say, give me the capacity to contain every blessing that you've put for me. Let me know when you will bless me, how you will bless me. It is up to you. But let me have the capacity to contain your blessing. Order my steps that I may find myself in a place of destination. Hallelujah. Shall we just begin to pray? Makatele bron shalabahai. Jaco zele bron daladia son telebahar. Rakron telemando jalu zele bronte. Mautu le bron jalabayata. Rason sate yande le bron shika telemande. Ra bron jalata he telemonde. Jatu salemante. Ikon zato mante. That which has spoke over my life, O oh God. May I be in a position, O oh God, to receive it, the serving in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray that Jehovah God give me the capacity to contain every blessing that you've prepared for me. Ma zose telemande, ratonda la dosha tose, i conta la pronda la bosha to, i cato raba bosha la manta, e ratonda le prosa la manta, e tonda zeta i cosa. We worship your King of Glory. We thank you for everything that we go through. We thank you for every blessing set ahead of us, oh God. We worship you and we give you praise. We give you honor because you are God. And it is you that knows what's best for us. And therefore we'll trust you with everything that we have. We'll trust you with the small things that we have. We'll trust you with every good and perfect gift that you have given unto us, oh God. We worship you because it is you who knows the future. It is you who knows whatever we need, oh God. We thank you and we bless you. We give you praise. We give you honor in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that, don't you know that the trying of your faith worketh patience? Amen. I don't you know that the trying of your faith worketh what? Patience. Meaning whatever you go through, you reach at a point where you have patience and you wait on God. The Bible says, my peace I give, but the peace I give makes you to be in a place where things are just cool. Even when there's chaos around you, you are at peace. Even when things are not in making sense, you are at peace. I want us to pray. Give me peace in the midst of chaos that I go through. I may not understand, but give me peace. Shall we pray? Mazutala pranda la roshi katala bahaya. Ratonda shato shelemande. Rababo shato rabatenda shalatala bahaya. Rabba Shata, that I'll give you peace, not as the word gives, but I'll give you peace that surpasses all human understanding. Father, give us peace in the midst of trouble. Give us peace when we do not understand. Give us peace when it doesn't make sense to us, oh God. We'll still hold on to the faith we have in you. We'll still hold on to the gold that raised Christ from the dead. We thank you and we give you praise. We worship you, we honor you, we thank you, and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Ay, 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 my God, my God, you help 
me those who know English. Dynamite's coming, what? <laughs> yeah, come on, Paul. Small package. Oh my God. This small person has offloaded stuff. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's nothing she has spoken that is not in Habakkuk chapter 2. Nothing. Everything she spoke is in Habakkuk chapter 2. From verse 1 to 3. Hallelujah. Verse 1. I will climb up to my watchtower and stand at my guard post. She said, seek the Lord. Hallelujah. Starting point is to seek the Lord. Why are you seeking the Lord? He is a God who speaks. So I will go somewhere until he speaks to me. I will go somewhere until he gives me a word. Until he tells me something about my future. I will go somewhere. I will be a watch. I will go to the watchtower. Hey! Dynamite. There I will wait to see what the Lord says. He is a God who speaks. Ask your neighbor, what word do you have from God? As you are saying, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. What word do you have from God? He is a God who speaks. You. And so there I will wait to see what the Lord says and how he will answer my complaints. Most of you are complaining. I'm just saying what she was saying. Where is God? I've been waiting for this. Where is God? He says, now this one says, I will call. I will seek the Lord. And I will wait to hear what answer he will give to my complaints. He is a speaking God. Hallelujah. Two. Then the Lord spoke. He is a speaking God. In verse two, the Lord spoke to Habakkuk. Uh, and then the Lord said, yeah. Write my answer on tablet so that a runner can carry the correct message. What word do you have? What word are you running with? Also, don't care, don't care, what, what? It must be from God. Did he tell you it's a car? Did he tell you it's a house? What did God say? I will seek the Lord to hear what he has to say. Hallelujah. Are we together? Everything she said is in Habakkuk. This vision is for a future time. Hallelujah. It's for a future time. That's why she said, do not give up. Right now when you look at yourself, it's not there. No. The things God is telling you, they are for a future time. Are we together, house of kings? Woo! Hallelujah. This vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. It describes the end. Them they might not know. But because you sought the Lord, he will describe to you. So she says, eye has not seen. Ear has not heard. The kind of blessing that is about to come in your life. But when you seek the Lord, he's going to tell you, your restaurant will not have blocks down there. How they will climb, I will show you in the end. <laughs> Hallelujah. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently. And she said, process 
Me, I was good at rewrites. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently. Tell your neighbor, process. Process. When we declare today, on Monday, you stop talking to us. Process. Wait patiently. It will surely take place. It will not be delayed. It will surely take place. What God speaks, it cannot fall to the ground and go back without doing what it was sent to do. When God speaks to you, before you see it, don't give up. Before you see it, don't die. It will surely come. But Funso Ikulu, what did he tell you? Phyllis was saying, Tiba jumpa jumpa maningi, nishina palo suiziwa. What did he tell you? What are you waiting for? Write it down. I remember we were writing houses. Hallelujah. Write it down. And if it is slow in coming, wait patiently. It's all her points. Amen. It's all her points. I just like it that I found everything in Habakkuk. Yeah. And then I said, God is speaking. He is a speaking God. Queen Tabreta Habakkuk on my scripture man. Haya. Woo. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently. For it will surely take place. It will not delay. She said, the one who determines when it should happen is God. It's you who thinks it has delayed. But to God, it's not yet the appointed time. At the appointed time, it will surely happen. Before it, is ha it happens, don't even think it's delay. It will not delay. It's just not the appointed time. So when it's not yet the appointed time, I will wait. I will wait. I will wait. I will wait. Hallelujah. I was so blessed with the word of God house of kings let us not play let us take the word seriously the word is saying seek God hear his voice write down what he will tell you and begin to wait until it happens it's not over until I hold my blessing it's not over until my blessing speaks the end of the matter is the blessing speaking. If he say he told you that you are going to own a hospital, before you own a hospital, it is not over. Until the blessing speaks, I will wait. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for the woman of God. Let's celebrate the woman of God. That was powerful. That was awesome. If this is level one, how much more level two? How much more level three? Three days of power. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We celebrate and we thank God for this word. House of Kings, don't play with the word of God. It's coming like this to change our lives. Take this word seriously and you are going to see life changing. You are going to hold the blessings. You are going to change where you are to your best, to your better environments. But as long as we continue to play with the word, we will be Bible scholars. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Father, help us to respect you more than other things. Help us to honor you more than we honor other things. Help us to trust you more than we trust other things, oh God. May you be number one in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah.